This video is presented to you by www.tasteprepadda.com Tasteprepadda.com provides free audio visual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties free online tests prepared by expert faculties to students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams or planning to take exams like KVPY Olympia it provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams. The mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals. In this video, we are going to study the living bird. What is biology? Biology is the study of living word. The word biology comes from Greek word bios which means life and logos which means study. So in biology we study life and is defined as science of life forms and living processes. It is the story of life on earth. It is the story of evolution of living organisms on earth. In this chapter, we are going to discuss these topics. Number 1. Introduction Number 2. Characteristic of life Number 3. Diversity in life Number 4. Binominal nomenclature Number 5. Classification Number 6. Taxonomy In this taxonomy, Different categories are species, genus, family, order, class, phylum, kingdom, and number seven, taxonomical aids. We start from introduction. There are large variety of living organisms on earth like plants, animals, birds, insects, pet animals, wild animals, etc. There are also several organisms that you cannot see with your naked eyes but they are all around you. When you look around you, you see cat, dog, rat, cow, like animals. When you increase area, variety of organisms are also increase. When you go to forest, you see greater numbers and kinds of organisms. When you go to sea, mountains, deserts, etc., you see other kinds of numbers of organisms. Each different kind of plant, animal or organism that you see represents species. The numbers of species that are known and described range between 1.7 to 1.8 millions. It is very huge range. Now we will talk about living and non-living. What is living? How will you distinguish living with non-living? For example, if I ask you, what is living? Goat or stone? You will say goat because the first thing that comes in your mind is goat can move. And stone cannot. But do you think movement is right way to define living organisms? 
to understand the correct difference between living and non living you need to know the characteristics of living like growth reproduction metabolism consciousness number 1 growth increase in mass and increase in numbers are twin characteristics of growth cell division is key to increase in mass and number in plants the growth by cell division occurs continuously throughout their life span while in animal this growth is seen only up to certain age however cell division occurs in many tissues to replace lost cells you also find growth in non living things but that happens due to accumulation of matter from outside while in living organism growth is from inside growth alone therefore cannot be taken as a defining property of living organisms although it is a characteristic of living organism dead organism does not grow reproduction living forms reproduce to generate others like themselves living organisms reproduce sexually or asexually to produce new organisms in unicellular organisms like bacteria algae or amoeba reproduction is synonymous with growth that is in increase in number of cells fungi multiply and spread easily due to the millions of asexual spores they produce in lower organisms like yeast and hydra budding is common method of reproduction reproduction refers to production of progeny having features more or less similar to those of parents through sexual reproduction however there are many organisms which do not reproduce for example mules sterile worker bees and even infertile human couples so reproduction also cannot be taken as defining property of living organism but no non living object is capable of reproducing or replicating by itself metabolism all living organisms made of chemicals these chemicals small or big belonging to various classes sizes functions etc are continuously being made and changed into some other biomolecules these conversions are chemical reactions there are thousands of metabolic reactions occurring simultaneously inside all living organisms be they unicellular or multicellular all plants animals fungi and microbes exhibit metabolism the sum total of all chemical reactions occurring in our body is metabolism no non living object exhibits metabolism consciousness all living organisms have ability to sense surrounding or environment they respond to these environmental stimuli which could be physical chemical and biological we sense our environmental through our sense organs plants respond to external factors like 
light, water, temperature, pollutants, etc. Human being in the organisms is aware of himself, that is self-consciousness. Biodiversity When we talk about life, biodiversity is very important. Here, bio means life, diversity means variety. Variety of life existing on the earth called biodiversity. They control and maintain ecological balance on the earth. We can see here, every life form needed to each other. Here goat, sheep eat plants, then goat and sheep are eaten by wolf. Wolf eaten by lion and tiger. But when these animals are died, what happened? Their body decomposed by microorganisms like fungi, bacteria this way every life form needs each other every life form plays important role in ecosystem to preserve biodiversity we try to preserve every life form log on to www.testprepadda.com to watch free video lectures on different topics to download free revision notes, to take free chapter wise online test, progressive test and mock test, to discuss doubts with mentors. Thank you for watching this video. To stay up to date with latest videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on our Facebook page, Test Prep Adda. All the best.